Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to my youtube channel and in the previous class regarding integration we had done some basic concepts basic questions regarding the uh, this integration and that is exercise 7.1 the first exercise regarding this unit and so far we have done 15 questions of this exercise and here we are on question number 16 of the same exercise the question number 16 is all about we have to find the anti derivative we have to find the integral or primitive of 2x minus 3 cos x plus e raised power x dx. An algebraic function, a trigonometric function and a natural exponential function. In Tino function is combination here and we have to find its antiderivative or primitive or integral. So in order to find its integral we will proceed like this. There are uh, three functions in the question in the integrand. And all the three functions are connected by addition and subtraction. When two or more functions are connected either by symbol of addition uh, or subtraction, operation of addition or subtraction, the integral must be separated. So it is equal to integration of 2x dx is called like say minus integration of 3 cos x dx or like say plus integration of e power x dx or like say. Clear? This can be further written as 2 is a constant, a scalar, multiplied with x, it will come out of the integral. So 2 times integration of x dx minus 3 is again constant, will come out of the integral. So integration of cos x dx plus integration of e power x dx. Now all the three integrands are in the standard form. When they are in the standard form, we can easily find their integrals. We can easily locate their antiderivatives and that's equal to 2 times the integration of x is directly by power rule. Its power 1 hai to by power rule it is power plus 1 divided by power plus 1. So it will become x raised power 1 plus 1 that is 2 whole divided by 2 minus 3 times yes cos x ki integration that is directly equal to sin x and plus e power x ki integration is just e power x plus c. So the required result will come out to be 2 multiple may hai, divide may will cancel out. So it is x square minus 3 sin x plus e raised to the power x plus c the constant of integration. The answer of question number 16. Now move on to the next and that is question number 17 of the same exercise and that is integration of yes. Question number 17 is integration of 2x square minus 3 sin x, 2x square minus 3 sin x plus twice square root of plus 5 times square root of x plus 5 times square root of x dx. This integral we have to obtain. So again the integrand consists of three functions, an algebraic function a trigonometric function and again an algebraic function which is 5 square root of x and we have to integrate this. In order to integrate this again three functions are connected by addition and subtraction. So again by the same procedure of question number 16 all the three uh, terms uh, this integral would be separated to all the three terms and that's equal to integral of twice x square dx minus integral of 3 sin x dx and plus integral of 5 square root of x dx. This can be written as 2 is a constant will come out of the integral. So 2 times integration of x square dx minus 3 is again constant will come out of the integral. So integration of sin x dx plus 5 is constant will come out of the integral. So integration of this is square root x can be written as x raised power 1 by 2 dx because square root means power raised power 1 by 2 index x uh, or exponent 1 by 2. So this can be further written as yes 2 is 2 integration of x square must be equal to x cube divided by 3 by power rule power plus 1 whole divided by power plus 1 minus 3 times, minus 3 times, yes the integration of sin x is obviously equal to minus cos x. So minus cos x plus 5 times plus 
5 times integration of x raised power 1 by 2. Again apply the power rule. So it is equal to x raised power 1 by 2 plus 1. So x raised power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c the constant of integration. And that is equal to the result will come out to be yes 2 by 3 2 by 3 x cube minus into minus is plus 3 times cos x yes this is 1 by 2 plus 1 will become 3 by 2 3 by 2 divide mein hai, multiple mein leke chalo to reciprocal 2 by 3 banega up to 5 se multiple ho ke banega plus 10 divided by 3 yes x raised power 3 by 2 plus c that's your answer the integral, the anti derivative or primitive of 2x square minus 3 sin x plus 5 square root x is nothing else but 2 by 3 x cube plus 3 cos x plus 10 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 plus c. All about question number 17. Now move on to the next and that is question number 18 of the same exercise. The question number 18 is all about integration of, it is integration of sec x into sec x plus tan x into sec x plus tan x dx integration of this thing agar is integrand ko hum dekhenge abhi this is not in the standard form to pehle hum isko leke aayenge standard form mein kaise sec x chunki uh, multiple hai whole sec x plus tan x ke sath तो इसका मतलब sec x को पहले sec x के साथ मल्टीपल करेंगे sec x को tan x के साथ मल्टीपल करेंगे यहां पे sec x into sec x बनेगा sec square x which is again a standard integral और दूसरी दूसरा टर्म जो आएगा वो sec x plus tan x आएगा that's again a standard integral so we can integrate the function is easily and that's equal to integration of sec x into sec x that is sec square x plus sec x into tan x that is sec x tan x whole dx right just to like this now beach my addition hai, to integral must be separated so that's equal to integration of sec square x dx plus integration of sec x tan x dx that is further equal to yes integration of sec square x sec square x is a standard integral we have uh, study the concept is the basic elementary standard integrals that we have discussed in the previous classes. So use the concept. Sec square x ki integration kya hoti hai? That's tan x. Directly tan x because the derivative of tan x is sec square x. Plus integration of sec x tan x is directly equal to sec x. So the result is sec x plus tan x plus sec x plus i plus c the constant of integration. So the anti derivative of sec x into sec x plus tan x is nothing else but tan x plus sec x plus c the constant of integration. All about question number 18. Now we will uh, step on to the next question and that is question number 19 of the same exercise. In this exercise first 7.1 we are just dealing with the standard forms of uh, these integrals and in the subsequent classes we will go uh, to some integrals which are not in the standard form and we have to put those integrals into the standard form and in our content we have just three methods first one is uh, first one is integration by substitution the second one is integration by parts and the third one is integration by partial fractions these are the three methods that we are going to discuss in the subsequent classes and they are included in the syllabus of class 12 now Next we are on question number 19 of the same exercise and question number 19 is all about integration of sec square x divided by integration of sec square x divided by sec square x dx. Again look on to the integrand sec square x divided by sec square x this is not in the standard form so first uh, we will make it into the standard form we will change it into the standard form and after then we will integrate it so this can be further written as integration of now sec is we know that <coughs> there are three basic uh, these three basic uh, trigonometric functions sine cos and sine and cos uh, actually elementary are basically we have two 
uh, we have two uh, these trigonometric functions or circular functions they are also known as so sine and cos tan cosec sec and cot they all are derived because tan is the ratio of sine and cos cot is the reciprocal of tan sec is the reciprocal of cos and cosec is the reciprocal of sine so uh, here it is set now we know that sec is the reciprocal of cos so instead of sec square x we can write 1 divided by cos square x right because sec and cos are reciprocal of each other divided by cosec square x can be written as 1 divided by sin square x into dx the element of integration clear this can be further written as integration of now 1 divided by cos square x is as it is 1 divided by cos square x 1 divided by sin square x chunki divide mein isko multiple mein leke jayenge to jab multiple mein leke jayenge to iska ye rational number jo hai 1 divided by sin x ya rational function jo hai 1 by sin square x iska uh, reciprocal hoga to banega sin square x divided by cos square x sorry sin square x is divided by 1 into dx right and this will become integration of sin square x into 1 that is sin square x divided by cos square into 1 that is cos square x so sin square by cos square will become tan square x dx now the integrand sec square x divided by cosec square x has been transformed just into a single function and that is tan square x but Look on to the uh, function tan square x integrand tan square x. This is again not a standard integral. So we cannot directly integrate this function. We cannot directly find the antiderivative or primitive of a function. So we will change this tan square x into some other function whose standard integral already exists in the elementary standard integrals. So we will transform since we know that 1 plus tan square theta since we know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. From this we can conclude that yes tan square theta must be equal to from this we can conclude that tan square theta must be equal to plus 1 hai, leke chalo to minus 1 banega. So sec square theta minus 1. Ab tan square theta ko change karenge hum sec square theta mein. So that is equal to integration of tan square x can be written as sec square x minus 1 into dx. Now we have done this why? Because sec square is a standard integral. We have used here to use it. This integration tan x is done. So sec square x or 1 are standard integrals. Hai. We can integrate the function quite conveniently. So this can be written as integration of a beach mein subtraction hai, separate kar do ya directly bhi kar sakte ho ab samjhane ke liye kar raha hu. So that is integration of sec square x dx minus integration of 1 dx and that's equal to integration of sec square x we know that that is directly equal to tan x because the derivative of tan x is sec square x minus integration of 1 with x uh, with respect to the variable x is directly equal to x plus c the constant of integration and tan x minus x plus c would be the antiderivative to primitive or integral of sec square x divided by cos x square x now we will move on to the next question and that is question number 20 of the same exercise And question number 20 is all about integration of, yes, 2 minus 3 sin x, 2 minus 3 sin x divided by, divided by cos square x dx, divided by cos square x dx. Again, a nice question. So, integration of 2 minus 3 sin x divided by cos square x dx is all about question number 20 and that's equal to, again, if we integrand ko dekhenge, 2 minus 3 sin x divided by cos square x, this is again not in the standard form. So, we have to, uh, we have to put this integrand into the standard form and after that we can integrate the function. So, 2 minus 3 sin x divided by cos square x, since cos square x is a common denominator, so 2 ka alag se hoga, 3 sin x ka alag se hoga, to divide kar do, it will become integration of 2 divided by 2 divided by cos square x minus 
थ्री साइन एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस स्क्र एक्स ओल डी एक्स राइट क्योंकि कॉस स्क्र एक्स जो इंटरग्रल सॉरी डिनोमिनेटर था वो एक कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर था तो हमने टू को अलग से दिया और थ्री साइन एक्स को अलग से दिया सो दैट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ अब बीच में चूंकि माइनस है तो इंटरग्रल सपरेट होगा एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इट इज टू Now it is one divided by cos square it will become sec square so twice sec square x dx minus right it is three sin x divided by cos square x this can be written as integration of three sin x divided by cos x into one upon cos x dx. Because it is just equal to three sin x into one, that is three sin x divided by cos x into cos x is cos square x. अब ऐसा क्यों किया? Because three sin divided by cos is tan, one divided by cos is sec. तो ये बनेगा sec x tan x. और sec x tan x भी हमारे पास standard integral है. We can locate its integral. We can locate its antiderivative to quite easily. This can be written as two constant है बाहर आएगा. So that is integration of sec square x dx. माइनस थ्री कॉन्स्टेंट है बाहर आएगा सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स डिवाइड बाय कॉस एक्स इज टेन वन डिवाइड बाय कॉस इज सेक तो पहले सेक लिखेंगे सो सेक एक्स साइन बाय कॉस इज टेन दैट इज टेन एक्स डी एक्स राइट दिस कैन बी फॉर द रिटर्न एस टू टाइम्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ सेक्स केयर नाउ इंटीग्रेंड इज हियर सेक्स केयर एंड दैट्स अ स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल वी नो इट्स इंटीग्रेशन इज डायरेक्टली इक्वल टू tan x सो twice tan x minus 3 times sec x tan x की इंटीग्रेशन हमें मालूम है क्योंकि एक इलेमेंटरी स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल है एंड इट इज डायरेक्टली इक्वल टू sec x sec x tan x की इंटीग्रेशन जो है दैट इज sec x क्योंकि sec x की डिफरेंशिएशन होती है sec x tan x सो 3 sec x plus c the constant of integration सो द एंटी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ 2 minus 3 sin x divided by cos square x is nothing else 2 tan x minus 3 sec x plus C. Since the integrand was not in its standard form, we have put this integrand into the standard form, elementary standard form, and then after we have integrated, right? So all about question number twenty of this exercise. Now, guys, the next question, and that is question number twenty-one, and that's all about find the anti-derivative of. We have to find the anti-derivative of square root of x plus one upon square root of x whole dx. The anti-derivative of square root of x plus one upon square root of x dx. क्योंकि बीच में एडिशन है और हम जानते हैं कि इंटीग्रल सेपरेट होगा तो पहला स्टेप हम यही कर देंगे and that's equal to integration of square root x dx. Plus integration of one upon square root x dx, right? This can be further written as this can be further written as, and that's equal to yes, integration of now this is square root of x is not a standard integral. Yes, it's a standard integral, but first we will change this square root into raised power. 1 by 2, so x raised to power 1 by 2 dx plus times integration of this is 1 upon uh, x raised to power 1 by 2. अब denominator में raised to power 1 by 2 है, तो numerator में raised to power minus 1 by 2 बनेगा. So x raised to power minus 1 by 2 dx, right? Now both are the standard integrals. We can integrate them, and this is equal to by power rule x raised to power 1 by 2 का इंटीग्रल जो है क्या आएगा x रेज टू पावर 1 बाय 2 प्लस 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 बाय 2 प्लस 1 बिकॉज़ बाय पावर रूल प्लस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ x रेज पावर माइनस 1 बाय 2 क्या बनेगा x रेज पावर माइनस 1 बाय 2 प्लस 1 डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस 1 बाय 2 प्लस 1 प्लस c द कांस्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ये प्लस c क्यों लिखते हैं हमने मेंशन कर रखा है प्रीवियस क्लासेस में बिकॉज़ अ फंक्शन कैन हैव मोर देन वन एंटी डेरिवेटिवस Each differ by constant only. The root function remains the same only. It will differ by a constant. So that's equal one by two plus one is three by two. Three by two denominator में है numerator में लेके जाओ तो two by three बनेगा. So two by three x raised to power three by two plus minus one by two plus one is one by two. अब one by two denominator में है numerator में लेके चलो तो two by one means two times x raised to power one by two plus c. 
and that's your answer 2 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 plus twice x raised power 1 by 2 plus c ye ek multiple choice tha means option c is the correct option regarding the ncrt na wahan pe ye multiple choice question hai to iska option c jo hai 2 by 3 x raised power 3 by 2 plus twice x raised power 1 by 2 plus c would be the correct option now move on to the next and that is last question of this exercise and that's all about question number 22 question number 22 the last question of this basic exercise of integration and that is given d by dx of f of x is equal to it is given that d by dx means the derivative of f of x is equal to we have a function f of x and it is derivative is 4x cube minus 4x cube minus 3 divided by x raised power 4 such that it is again given that f of 2 is equal to 0. f dash of 2. No, f of 2 is equal to 0. We have to find f of x. Hame root function jo hai f of x change. So in that question it is given that the derivative of a function is 4x cube minus 3 divided by x power 4. Such that again it is given that f of 2 is equal to 0. And we need to find f of x. So from this, d by dx of f of x is equal to 4x cube minus 3 upon x raised to the power 4. We have to locate f of x. We only need this term, chahiye, that is f of x. So f of x chahiye, lekin iske is with derivative. So derivative will eliminate kaise hoga? by taking the anti-derivative. Because derivative and anti-derivative are just the reverse processes. We have proved it if you have the standard results that we have proved in previous class. Mein prove kar rakhe ke uh, derivative of integral of f of x dx is directly equal to f of x because differentiation and integration are the reverse process of each other so they are counterbalancing each other so here in order to eliminate this der derivative to d by dx we have to integrate the function so <coughs> sinus since d by dx of f of x is equal to 4x cube minus 3 upon x raised to power 4. Therefore, integrating on both sides, we will get integration of d by dx of f of x. And that's equal to integration of 4x cube minus 3 upon x raised to power 4 into dx. Right, this is equal to implies this can be written as now anti derivative and derivative are the reverse processes, so they will counterbalance. So, remaining result will become f of x dx b ni bachega because the dx is the element of integration. Jab integral sign eliminate ho raha to d of x b eliminate hoga. So, f of x is equal to ab hame is function pe integrate karna hai. So, this function ko jab integrate karenge, two functions are there connected by subtraction so integral must be separated that is integration of 4x cube dx minus integration of 3 upon x raised to power 4 dx right so implies f of x is then equal to 4 is a constant will come out of the integral into integration of x cube dx minus 3 is constant will come out of the integral so integration of 1 upon x power 4 can be written as x raised to power minus 4 dx because denominator by power plus 4 tha, numerator by minus 4 banega. so implies this can be written as f of x is equal to 4 into x cube key integration power plus 1 divided by power plus 1 so x raised to power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 right minus 3 times integration of x raised power minus 4 same by power rule it is equal to x raised power minus 4 plus 1 divided by minus 4 plus 1 
plus c the constant of integration right implies this can be written as f of x is then equal to yes 4 upon 3 plus 1 that is 4 so 4 and 4 will cancel out it will become x raised power 4 minus minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 3 and 3 will cancel out minus and minus will become plus so x power 4 into x raised power minus 3 plus c would be the value of what f of x or this can be written as implies f of x is then equal to right 3 plus 1 4 4 cancel over right? minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus or minus plus banega 3 3 cancel so plus 3 x raised power by minus 1 by 3 plus c so it will become x raised power 4 plus x raised power minus 3 can be written as 1 divided by x raised power 3 plus c because denominator mein power shabash minus 3 tha to denominator mein ye plus 3 banega so that is actually the f of x but it is given that f of 2 is equal to 0 if we put f of 2 here we will get the value of this constant c and after putting the constant c here we will get the required value of f of x now now since f of 2 is equal to 0 implies we have the value f of x f is a function x is an input so the input here is x and the input here is 2 so we have to replace this x with 2 in the function wherever there is x we have to replace that x by 2 because that is the difference between f of x and f of 2 in case of f of x the input is x and in case of f of 2 the input is 2 so input is here x uh, the output is here x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by 3 x raised to the power 3 plus c right and the output uh, output will change instead of x we should have there 2 so kya banega implies x raised to power 4 ke badle 2 raised to power 4 to 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x cube that is 2 cube plus c must be equal to 0 right implies this can be further written as 2 raised to power 3 is 16 plus 1 divided by 2 raised to power 3 is 8 plus c and that's equal to 0 implies cross multiple kar do kya aega 8 6 is are 48 8 1 is are 8 8 or 4 kitne ho gaye 12 plus 1 1 is are 1 divided by 8 plus c and that's equal to 0 implies 128 plus 1 is 129 so 129 by 8 yaha pe plus hai to side mein minus banega so c must be equal to yes minus 129 divided by 8 so the arbitrary constant from this f of 2 is equal to 0 the arbitrary constant has been replaced by a fixed real number minus 129 divided by 8 put the value of c there we will keep it as equation number first so from first we have from first we have Yes, what we have from equation first, f of x is equal to x raised to power 4 plus 1 upon x raised to power 3 plus c, the constant of integration and its fixed value is minus 129 divided by 8. That is actually the value of f of x, which we need, according to the and CRT syllabus, its uh, value is it's again a multiple choice question. So, it is uh, answer is option A x cube plus 1 by x3 minus 129. So, option A is the correct option. So, all about the basic questions of exercise, the basic exercise 7.1 of indefinite integration. Now, next we are going to discuss the important methods of integration as and as I have mentioned there are three methods in your content of class 12 and that is 
integration by substitution the first method integration by parts the second method and finally we have integration by partial fractions we are using these results because the functions the integrands are not in the standard form so on making the particular uh, on using the particular results particular methods we are first changing those integrands into standard integrals and after we are evaluating their respect to integrals antiderivatives are primitives so in the next class this is i think all about this class and in the next class we are going to discuss methods of integration